transactions fail, mainly because people didn't do things the right way. And every opportunity, and I'm using this one, <laughs> to actually tell entrepreneurs is um, the, 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 initially it's a very tight mix between going out and getting the business and organizing yourself from a structural perspective internally in your organization and how it does. But I'd say to you is the minute you do have a, a business and, and some cash flow, start, start building structures around your business. Capital flow follows the path of least resistance. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's the harder it is to do a deal, the less attractive you are, the harder it is for somebody to invest in your business. Uh, so you obviously more active allocations are required around whether it is whether, whether it is government securities you know, listed equities and some of the alternative instruments like private equity property and so on and so forth it just means that from an innovation perspective and even the asset manager now has to be more innovative but there are not many local indigenous alternative asset managers so that's the opportunity that we saw that the regular Kenyan is in equities and fixed income, yet the returns are in private equity and real estate. Most of the private equity and real estate players are actually global institutional players. So why do we let only foreign players, while Kenya is an open market and they are welcome, we should also promote local players. Even the regulator will tell you this, that uh, the insurance sector is way behind where it ought to be. If you compare insurance sector to some of the other financial services offered in this market, we are way behind. It's actually, I would say, a developing world phenomenon. Uh, as I said earlier on, in more advanced nations, insurance penetrations are very high. And in fact, insurance companies own banks. You know, in Europe and in, uh, in America, it's, you know, it's, it's insurance companies that are larger. And most of the cap most of the return was actually coming uh, from outside of Kenya, mm -hmm. so we're literally importing GDP into the country. Mm -hmm. so so government statistics have it that we have about 150,000 houses required every year, and we're only able to deliver between 30 and 35,000 every year. Now that's already demand being created, and yet the previous demand had not been, uh, you know, been been fully uh, sorted out. Market looks at information, overreacts, and then that creates an opportunity for you as a fund manager. If you believe, having interviewed the banks and done your research properly, that the market has overcorrected, and in fact, the valuations at current levels may be looking quite attractive for certain stocks. Uh, they can be able to finance most of our infrastructure. So if we create a, a sufficient uh, infrastructure and uh, environment, then I'm sure as a country we'll be able to make great strides. What we can tell them is, 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 is to stay within the law um, as much as they can. And I think where there are gray areas, what we are saying is to engage with the regulator.